And welcome back to my Tambayan. So today is Friday again, you guys. And as I mentioned before in my previous video, that Friday is my preparation day for church because we go to church on Saturday. So today we're going to make the Korean dish again. So the dish that we're going to make is called kimbap. So for our ingredients, very simple. So for a rice, usually kimbap or sushi use white rice so me i'm going to use the red and brown rice jasmine rice mix it together and then cook it i'm gonna show you what it looks like later and then we're going to use this this is a korean pickled yellow radish so i got this in a korean store and then also we have this so this guys it says seasoned bardak i don't know what is this vegetables or what is the english term of the vegetables but when i went to the korean store yesterday and asked the owner the owner are very friendly they have it, it is it is um korean store slash restaurant so the wife is cooking is the cook and then the the, the husband is in the store tending the customers and every time i go and tell them what i'm gonna make they usually give me um, advices or pointers or or direct me to the correct or right ingredients to make my dish as authentic as it can get so um, when I told them I'm gonna make bimbap, a kimbap at home they said that I should use this this is for Korean kimbap so here we go that is that and then of course we're going to have the seaweeds this is the seaweeds that we're gonna use and for the vegetables fresh vegetables just cucumber and then carrots we're going to saute this later saute and give it a flavor and of course spinach were which we're going to blanch and the rice so i'm gonna show you here in a little bit on what the ingredients is gonna be but first we're going to blanch our spinach and cook our carrots so everything will be ready for you okay so into our pan guys we're going to add into our hot water a teaspoon of salt and to it we're going to add our spinach so we're just gonna blanch our spinach now that the spinach are wilted let's turn off the fire and take it out and rinse it with cold water and we will just squeeze the water out of the spinach just like that and here's our spinach you guys and that is ready for seasoning we're just going to put it aside and then we'll work on our carrots so for our carrots guys into the hot pan we're going to add about a teaspoon of sesame oil and to that we're going to add our carrots I use about three medium carrots so we're just going to stir fry this until it's halfway through and we're just going to add this with a pinch of salt and a pinch of sesame seeds that's very simple guys that's basically all we need to do we are not trying to really cook our carrots we're just trying to give it that sesame umami flavor okay i think that's done let's take it off now we're going to do the same thing with our spinach sesame oil about the same about a teaspoon again and to that we're just going to put our add a pinch of salt and sesame seeds and since we already blanch it doesn't really need longer time okay that is done turn off the fire and transfer it okay 
Okay guys, so now that our vegetables, carrots and our spinach are done, we are going to prep our rice. And here it is. So we're going to season our rice with basically the same thing. Sesame oil, about a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil, and about a half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar, brown sugar. Okay? So we're just going to give it a mix. And you need to be gentle with your rice guys like that and by the way our rice is still warm so you need to be careful and so we're just going to mix it so all the grains of our rice is well seasoned okay so we're going to give it a few minutes to cool down and then we're gonna come back and assemble our kimba all right guys our ingredients are all done and ready to be assembled so before we do that let me show you everything that we have for our kimba here we have sesame oil that's what we're going to use to rub the outside of our seaweed and we have sesame seeds and that's the bordock vegetables the yellow pickled radish korean our cucumber carrots spinach seasoned rice and oh by the way i added black pepper i forgot to show you guys i added black pepper in our rice and here is our seaweeds and to assemble it we need this rolling bamboo mat okay now everything is ready so we will start assembling our kimbap first wash your hands and i already did because we need to use our hands guys okay guys let's start playing in our bamboo roller we're going to add our seaweed shiny on top okay to that we're going to add rice now this is why you need your hands washed because we need to use our hands on this so we're going to just put rice not all the way here because we need that area to to seal and i like my kimbab more on vegetables not more on rice so you don't really have to put too much rice in your seaweeds okay well just do it like that spread it evenly and after that we're going to arrange our vegetables and by the way guys you can put eggs in it if you'd like maybe we will do one that has eggs but this is basically what you need to do and then our carrots and you can also put any kind of vegetarian meat replacement like tofu season tofu whatever you like guys whatever your heart desire and then our spinach arrange it like that now don't be stingy with your vegetables we have so many vegetables so we can put good quantity in here and of course this is the the mystery ingredients i don't know what verse of this vegetables so now we're just going to rule it this is tricky but it, it's really easy so you're just gonna put your two thumbs underneath the bamboo roller like that and this the remaining of your hands you're going to put this on your vegetables and the ingredients and you press it and then roll and then basically you just keep on rolling and press it until get to the end and then when you get to that point you just put everything inside and just squeeze squeeze all the way and after that guys we have a kimbap look at that that is so pretty anyway so we're just gonna do the same thing and I think we're gonna make it bigger put some rice you can also put tuna in it or bulgogi or any kind of protein that you guys want you can pretty much put whatever filling you want in your kimbap that's the nice thing about making food guys there's no restriction of your imagination wherever your imagination takes you go for it so to all of you that are health conscious especially carb conscious this brown rice makes you feel a little bit gutless okay symbol time radish cucumber master vegetables and of course our carrots 
and we can put more sesame in the middle and roll. So, thumb at the bottom, four fingers on top, press your vegetables, and just roll it away. You're just going to guide on your rolling mat. And then, you pick it up and squeeze. There you go. And here we have another nice looking kimbap. So another thing to, that you can put in your kimbap guys is egg kimbap. So I have here two medium sized eggs. Season it with pepper and salt. And just beat it. And in the pan, we're going to add olive oil. And we're going to just spread it all over our pan. And to that, we're going to add our eggs. And we're going to flip this place very carefully. Okay. Now this is done, we're going to take it out and we're going to cut it into strips later. And then over here, I have that fish cake, we're going to heat it up also. And we're going to sprinkle a little sesame oil. Okay, this is pretty much done. Here you go guys. We're going to cut this into strips and we're going to add it to our kimbap. So here's our fish cake and our eggs. So we're just going to add this in our filling. We basically just do the same thing, do the same process, but add those two ingredients. Add our rice. And our fish cake. And our eggs. And of course, this. Yikes. It looks a lot, guys, isn't it? Okay, now let's roll. Voila, another kimbap. And now, we're going to cut it. This right here, we need to rub sesame oil before we cut it. It helps us to cut easily and also give that nice shiny kimbap. Okay, and also, we have to oil our knife so it will not stick when we cut it, okay? Be careful when you do this part. All right, now it's the moment of truth. my favorite part. We're gonna try it, see if it tastes good. Bye for you guys. Mmm. 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 Mm. Guys, you gotta try this at home. Really good, and all the flavor of the vegetable just hitting you in one bite. I'm gonna show you the final product. Okay, guys, here is our finished product. 
that is our kimbap you guys that's the one that has eggs and fish cake and this is the vegan kimbap okay guys that's it for today if you enjoy this recipe please give it a try so we have made our Korean kimbap so until next time thank you so much bye